Welcome to How To Dino. Today, I'm gonna show you how to create a preset band response custom command. Shout out to Porky for requesting this video. To begin, head over to the Dynabot website and select the Manage Service button. Then select the server you'd like to manage. Let's head over to Custom Commands and make sure the module's enabled. Now let's select the Add Command. You can name this command whatever you like, but for this example, we're gonna name it Mod Mute. For the response, head over to the description, copy and paste what you see, or click on the Paste Bin link and copy and paste the command from there. This command is based off of the menu command, so if you haven't seen that video, I do highly recommend watching that, or you could skip it since this is an entirely separate command. Uh, but as you can see, this command will allow you to mute users with preset responses. So here, if you would like to change up the responses, uh, please adjust the text here. So do this first and then come down here to the actual hard coded area and adjust the reasons here. These reasons are the reasons that you're actually going to see in the logs or in Discord. So come down here and adjust them. All you have to do is uh, adjust everything up to the period. Do not change anything before or after that. And then if you would like to change the hard coded mute time, just come down over to where it says 60 and change that to whatever you'd like. The default is set to 60 minutes. So if you'd like to change that, you can come down and change it here. Feel free to change any of the plain text you see. So this area right here, you're free to change to whatever you like. And all of this, honestly, this whole area here, you can change to whatever you like. Uh, but I'd recommend leaving the numbers because that does correspond to the actual choices you use. So really just mess with any of the text from here on out. I will go ahead and create a band version of this. I'm just going to attach it to the description because it's basically going to do the same thing. I'll even use the same responses here and allow you to tweak the responses as you choose. Once you're done tweaking the command, hit add a command. And that's it for the dashboard. Let's head over to Discord. All right, so here we are in Discord. To start off, simply run mod mute. That will bring up the menu. And there is a slight bug with this command. Whenever you run the command, you'll get this error message just saying, I can't find user. Uh, there isn't really a way for me to hide this uh, because I do want Dino to actually let you know when a mute is successful and when it's not. So hiding this kind of proved to be challenging. But if anyone does manage to find a way to hide it while still giving accurate uh, statuses upon mutes, please uh, paste your code in the comment section. I will review it, go over it, uh, see if it works. And if it does, I will pin your comment and shout you out in the description. So uh, good luck because I had a hard time trying to get that to go away. I've actually had multiple iterations of this code because it didn't really quite function the way I wanted. So this is the final result. Still has some bugs, but you know, nothing's ever perfect. And you guys did request for some complex custom commands. So this is complexity for you. So in order to run it, we have our options here. All we have to do is run mod mute and we have a little usage right here. So mod mute followed by the option number. So if we want to mute Tesla for uh, bypass, we can simply put two. And then we mention the user. You can even use their ID, it doesn't really matter. Then we do that, hit enter, and Tesla has been muted. So this is why I'm keeping this little embed here. I could easily use silent to hide this, but then you wouldn't be able to see if uh, Dino actually muted the user or not. I guess you could always go to logs and check it out, but for users that don't have logs set up, that could be a little tough to see. So if you don't really need this, I just suggest uh, checking the silent option or just adding the variable to the command and you will never see these error messages. So that is the command for you. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, making this command was a little bit stressful, but uh, at least I got something to show. So hopefully with this knowledge, you guys can branch off and make other cool custom commands that I could one day showcase on this channel. I think I might uh, allow users to send in their cool custom commands and I will just review it and go over it and see how it works. And then if other people like it, I could share it. And at the same time, shout out the user who sent it to me. So I might start doing that in the future um, if you guys would like to see that. So thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.